What do you say? I don't know, what do you say? I say... We needed any of this. Friend? Good to see you. Buddy. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Kind of nice, huh? It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Put your feet up. You just got out of a damn airport. I'd love to look at it like song by song. Instead of moving on once we fa finish the guitars, we do like the bass and the drums. So. I'm with that. Uh, even if we don't dial like tones in on guitar on drums tomorrow, getting them set up. We're at Sweetwater, and I got to come here in the summer for their um, annual gear fest. Walked right into here actually, and Sean, who manages the studio, was preparing a session. Sean just seemed like a pretty familiar character. I don't know that we've ever met. I kind of feel like we, we have, but he gives you that vibe where like you feel like you've met him before. Hi, I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Dealey, uh, Chief Engineer at Sweetwater Studios. Resident Canadian? Yes, mandatory. Yeah. Studio and live engineer for, I don't know, uh, quite some time. Worked with uh, people like Counting Crows and uh, the Goo Goo Dolls. Gonna be what doing some get? assisting on some stuff. Coffee what barista, I think. Like, oh, this is, yeah, familiar. This is somewhere like I could be comfortable working, I think. And then I saw the gear and I saw him at work and I saw the practice going on in here and heard the sounds that were coming out of the desk and stuff. And I was just like, you know, do bands make records here? Cool. Uh, that would be, be between this or one of those, or maybe an i5, but uh, start start with what we got here. Yeah, how high are your hats usually? Where are we? Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And we're making a record with Intervals at uh, Sweetwater Studios, which is full of a bunch of gear that I should never be allowed around. Honestly, it's like being a bunch of kids in a candy store, just having fun with whatever's around. Anything that we want is in a corner or in like a closet somewhere or in like, you know, a vault or even at the other side of the, the facility, like there's so much stuff here. He's here! Yeah. Yeah. Don't you love that I can't put this down? I'm just walking around with it. I go with the giant things. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Is, man? How are you? Good, is this man. the first time in person? Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. fuck. It's the internet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be really I'm so like, grossly unprepared. Good. It's kind of like Disney World or like Costco. But <laughs> <laughs> but for music. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here, man. I mean, the last record was great. You know, the experience was less than ideal in terms of not being with the guys. But now, you know, we're here and it's a really natural and honestly the coolest fucking place you could be to record a record. <laughs> no. Feels a lot less like a studio environment and more like a summer camp environment. <laughs> Big long 12 hour days just goofing around. So yeah, it is like music summer camp. You know, we have objectives so it's not just chaos, but it's also chaos. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to punch on that. Rupert Neve 5088, which is a super dope console. Uh, one of the few I haven't had a chance to work on yet. This is the first time as well where the entire record was made in a room with a console. We've recorded this album on a Neve 5088. That's pretty amazing. It's fun to do that and to be in its presence. You know, there's like a there's a vibe that gear gives off, but a recording console is like a special thing. Vibes have been immaculate. The vibe has been immaculate. I mean, it's been kind of ridiculous. Just the the antics that everyone's getting into. Catch me if you cannibal corpse. <laughs> yeah, catch me if you cannibal corpse and uh, catch me if you cannibal corpse. The uh, <laughs> what was the Blink year. 180? Two men and a baby. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was the other good one. <laughs> Big Bang Theory of a Dead Man. Yes, yes, yes Sam. 
Yeah. Where's our I night had, at the Roxbury? You're dead. Yeah, I had the, I had the the Jackson five finger death punch. Yep. <laughs> Damn, I was on one. Cirque du so laid back Luke, and I just I was laughing. And I just said flubber. <laughs> well, everything just feels a lot more complete this time. Because we're able to do every song kind of one by one and not have to do all the bass to all the songs and then all the guitar to all the songs and all the drums to all the songs and also try to communicate what we're thinking at the time or what we're trying to get across to really think about how these things are going to translate live when we're all playing on stage together. It feels more collaborative and less uh, layered and much more like a band just recording an album, which, which we've literally never done, yeah. which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> it feels interesting to also be locked away for two weeks away from our homes. You know, we haven't really gotten out much, which is kind of hysterical. It's like we're at the Airbnb, then we come here for 12 hours, sleep and do it again. So you, you, you know, you kind of get a bit loopy. And the home of the brave. Egg. 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 You want egg now? <laughs> I have little baby egg. <laughs> I have a hockey puck. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 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 Shut up. Cut that. Cut that. Cut. I'm at Sweetwater. My friends are here. We're making an album. Feel pretty good, man.